we're just walking along Whitehall towards the cenotaph to pay our respects to the ones that lost their life during the conflicts of World War One, World War Two, and any other conflicts. So here, on our right, is actually 10 Downing Street. Um, you can see it's heavily policed for a very good reason. And then I'll see if I can get a good shot. Down there is number 10. So, here is the cenotaph. So it was originally built out of wood and stone. You can see the um, flags surrounding it. And so obviously today there's traffic going past. Just going to come through here. So you can see traffic makes it a bit difficult at the moment. And there's going to be a bus. I'm going to stop right in front of it. I'm not quite. So on the 11th day of the 11th month, poppy wreaths are left here, which is Remembrance Day. But on the first, or well, the closest Sunday, uh, to Remembrance Day. This road will be closed off and the Queen will be in an adjacent building. She has been for the last few years and she watches the ceremony. And the Royal Family will march down here with many others and they'll have a minute's silence before they all lay their wreaths. I'll see if I can show you the building in a moment. There's actually I don't know if you can see around, there's camera crews already set up, ready for the Remembrance Parade. It's an empty tomb. And there's wreaths on the sides and at the top. And this is called Whitehall. So down that way is towards the Thames. We'll walk that way in a moment because you've got Westminster Abbey that we want to see. There's some uh, Remembrance Day crosses. And then if we go in the other direction, down Whitehall past the Cenotaph. You can see it's heavily policed at the moment. So down this way, we have got, as we walk past, number 10, down in the street. And then we've got Horse Guards Parade. Here we go. Look. They've even got ones with pictures of loved ones that have lost their life during the conflicts.
wander around and see these guys. So it is on a very busy road. So you've got, if you're going to cross to the middle, you do need to watch the traffic. There's one of the reefs I mentioned before, and there's one on the top and one on the other side. chess one as well <laughs> so if you can identify what these flags are leave a comment below final look at the cenotaph. A memorial to the ones that lost their life in conflicts. So they're all practicing for tomorrow's event which it will be Remembrance Sunday. Wow, this is amazing to see. There we go, the road will get busy again. They're being followed by police for obvious reasons. So we're in Westminster Abbey. So it's like a poppy fields here. So let's just take a little wander around. So we've got We've got some more on the other side, which we'll show in a moment. So they here's the other side. This section is free to enter. If you want to visit Westminster Abbey, it's pay tickets that you need to purchase online. Beautiful Westminster Abbey here. So monarchs being coronated here, buried here, 
and even married. Quite a few people have come here today. Says in memory of the fallen of the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers, where each will have a name tag of which regiment. So, this oh, look at this one! Wow! So, this one is in memory of the fallen of the Duke of Wellington's regiment. Prince of Wales' own regiment of Yorkshire. Some are very extravagant. Oh, you've got these ones that are a lot smaller. So this one is for in memory of the fallen of the Staffordshire regiment. So in each village and town, they'll have their own way of commemorating it with a memorial plaque or a statue. And each year, there'll be a remembrance service. This one. So this one is in memory of the fallen of the Royal Lancers. got from 1939 to 1945. So some from First World War, which was 1914 to 1918, and some from Second World War, 1939 to 1945. There's also these ones down here. So Afghanistan of 2001 to 2014, and Iraq is 2003 2009 there's a few more down here we might so we're not just commemorating world war one but we're commemorating world war two oh here's a gentleman that will kindly give us some more information who were the first heavy regiment ever you to break. Take that. Yeah. The 65th Lancers there is the first cavalry regiment to break an infantry square. Yeah. Then we have the 1721st there with the skull and crossbones, which are the guys who rode in the Waterloo, Battle of Waterloo and the Charger Light Brigade. Perfect. There you go. And then they joined regiments. Yeah. Right? 
pull them out from eight. Well, they, they, they shut the regiment, uh, the last 16 fifth down, mm -hmm. and they joined up and they become what was it? The Queen, Royal, Queen Lancers. Royal Lancers. Wow, yeah. fascinating. And Paul served in the original 16 fifths and then served in the joint regiment yeah. wow. in the um, war in the Gulf. Wow. So, yeah. And that's why we're here today because he's marching just, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, are you marching yeah, tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. He's working with the veterans tomorrow. Yeah. Fantastic. Comes so you will yeah. see you tomorrow on the TV. Yeah, yeah hopefully. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. We're actually off to see his dad now. He was out in Aden. Oh, wow. And he got shot and oh, died when Paul was 12. Uh, 11. Yeah, so we're off to see his cross now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the lovely gentleman just a moment ago was very kind enough to give us some more information. He served uh, during a conflict, he was telling me. And uh, so it's a big impact for a lot, a lot of people. So here's another one with plaques providing names of the ones that have fallen. So this is in memory of the fallen of the Queen's own Warwickshire and Warwickshire Yeomanry. Again, dating between World War One and World War Two. There's none that's in later conflicts. When you have family members or you know people, friends, work colleagues, school pupils that have served in the war, some have returned and some haven't and it's a real reminder of that.